In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install OpenLink's multi-tier generic ODBC driver on a Mac OS X operating system. The procedure is simple and brief. It should take no more than a minute or two to complete. Once installed, you can use this single client driver to connect to databases hosted by any of our supported DBMSs. That means that you can use this one driver to connect to DB2, Ingress, Informix, Progress, Oracle, Sybase, SQL Server, and so forth. However, I do want to emphasize that this is a multi-tier client component. Use of this client component entails installation of the corresponding multi-tier server components. If you have not installed the multi-tier server components or you do not know if you have the multi-tier server components installed somewhere within your organization, there are at least two courses of action that you can take. You can locate the individual who is responsible for server-side administration within your organization and inquire about the multi-tier server. Alternatively, you can locate the relevant video within our multi-tier ODBC connectivity series and you can learn how to install and configure the multi-tier server components yourself. At this point, we can proceed with the actual installation of the multi-tier generic ODBC driver. The driver is packaged in a disk image or DMG file. You want to locate your disk image file, double click it. This extracts a .mpkg or meta package file. You want to locate that and click it, double click it you will be presented with an advisory or a warning. Just click continue to bypass that. Take note of the splash screen, click continue. We suggest that you actually read the readme that comes with all of our product installers. Click continue. Likewise, take time to read over the software license agreement. Again, click continue. Click agree provided that you do agree with the terms of use of our products specify the volume on which you want to install the software click continue change install location actually takes you back to the screen that we have just seen so just note that click install the installation does require administrative privileges so provide the operating system password click OK The installation has complete. You may now exit out of the installer, the associated directories or folders. At this point, you probably want to proceed to the testing phase of your new multi-tier generic ODBC driver. You may do so provided that two conditions are met. First, you want to ensure that you do have that multi-tier server components installation that I've mentioned a few times. Not just that, you need to know the actual IP address or host name on which those server components are installed and you need to know the TCP port on which those server components listen for incoming ODBC requests from the multi-tier generic ODBC client portion of the product. Second, you need to know basic information about the target database. You need to know what DBMS hosts this database. Is this a Postgres database or a Progress database? Sybase SQL Server database or a Microsoft SQL Server database? You need to know the actual database name. You need to have a username and password in most cases. You may need to know the TCP port on which that database listens for connection requests depending on the database's capabilities and your overall data access architecture you may need to know some additional information as well that's why I recommend that you view the per database connection prerequisites videos to make sure you have all of that information before you embark on DSN creation and testing once you do have that information, do come back, do locate the video in the series that pertains to the DSN or data source name creation for your target database and complete your ODBC 
TSN creation process. This concludes this lesson.